Hello friends, welcome back again in our Excel automation tool. So in this video we are going to show how we can customize our user form. So there you can see there is a minus icon and also the plus icon. So if I want to small size then I just need to click this then you can see full user form is now zoom out. And if I want to resize again then just click to the plus icon then you can see the user form is now increased. And again, so there you can see this is a film also the increase. So how we can manage this? So there you can see this is ideal button. Just you need to click this for active now. That means in the background Excel sheet is now visible. So I am close this and go to the developer mode and this is our view code. So this is our form and we are going to the plus and minus icon so this icon name is zoom out button and also this icon name is zoom in button so i am double click there so you can see there are we are write simple code so if you want to zoom out our user form then this code will be our help so if you want to zoom in our user form then this adjust zoom will be help us and you can see this is our adjust zoom sub function so there we can see this is our mid or zoom and also this is our width and also this is our height. So after completing all our calculation we will be stored in our support sheet. So you can see this is our support sheet and also this is our cell and this data will be stored in the specific cell wise. So after if you see this is our data entry sheet and also this is our support sheet and at the end you can see this is our storage user form size. When the user form is initialized, then this value will be calculated and our user form will be resized. Okay, so if I want to open this again, then go to the home and this is the launch form. So also if you want to again plus, okay, this user form will be increased and also you can decrease. And as well as you can see there is a lots of feature is available and there you can see this is the ideal button. So if you want to manage your excel sheet then just click to the ideal to active then you can see the excel is now visible and also if you want to hide your excel sheet then just click to the active to ideal mode then you can see the background excel sheet will be hide so there you can see this is the add new button for example if you want to add any data and after you require data you just need to click the add new and do you want to save data and click to the yes and you can see the required data will be stored in our cell sheet if you want to search just input your required data thus i am clicking the test and click to the search button then you can see our required data will be show okay so if i want to update any data then just click to the double click there and you will change your required data and click to the update button so do you want to update so if you confirm this as a click to yes and you can see the impression is updated now okay so if i want to delete anything just double click there and click to the delete so do you want to delete okay so data will be delete there and as well as you just click to double click there and you can clear your information and there you can see this is the refresh button for clear full user form and if you want to download your required information just click to the download okay report is downloaded and okay so i just want to show there i am go to the support and you can see this is how record data will be downloaded that's all for this and there you can see this is our downloader platform so there is lots of automation tool available there so you can download it at any time and you can also customize as for requirement wise so if you like our tutorial you can buy me a coffee and as well as please subscribe to our channel that's all. Thank you very much and see you in the next tutorial.